So step one is to gather your ingredients. You're gonna need some PVC pipe. Here we got some thinner and some thicker PVC pipe. This is one that I've already made. Uh, PVC pipe cutter, some paracord, and something that you're gonna tie on the end to be the toy. The toy can be anything. I got here just a old fur kind of dog toy. You can use an old towel or a sock. Don't use something hard or something that has metal on it that if the dog accidentally grabs a the metal, they could chip a tooth or something like that. You'll regret that. So this is the one I've been using lately. I really like it. You can see it's, I don't know, four foot long. It's a thicker kind. It gives me a lot of um, ability to move the toy quickly. And what I'm gonna make right now is a baton, a little bit shorter and lighter. Natalie's been asking for one like that. Um, so that probably, so that doesn't tire her out quite as quickly. So I'm gonna cut it right about there. And it doesn't really matter. You should experiment with different lengths and thicknesses and all that kind of stuff to see what you like best. This is gonna take me a minute to do because I'm trying to do it one-handed. So now with this, I'm gonna draw, drill a hole in it, um, just like here, you can see. There's a hole drilled in, and you want it to be deep, deep enough that it don't doesn't make it too brittle. And then you're just gonna tie the paracord through it into a sturdy knot that won't come undone. Tie the other end of the paracord to your toy, and you have yourself a flirt pole. This is one of the most useful tools to tiring out a frustrated dog, so hopefully it helps you as much as it's helped me. Hi, Pippa. Good girl, yes. Good girl. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it that way now. It's going out. Yes, good girl. Good girl, yes, you got it. Yes, you got it. Good girl. Yes, good girl. 